Perspective Tutorial Part 2 for Rendering for the Theater. Hello. Last time we saw each other, we were moving this box to the sidewall, and then we oh. find out that the corner of that box is over here, and it's going to live somewhere on this plane, and then we find where that box lived on this plane, looking at it, to the picture oh. plane, and this is the actual physical corner of that box. And let's find this corner of the box. We know it's on the same line as this one over here. So we're good. So all we have to do is to do it from this corner to our observation point. Mm -hmm. Where do we stop? <gasps> on the picture plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then once we have it on the picture plane, we bring it down. I'm pretty parallel there, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, then. Mm -hmm. And then we have it over there. Okay, next blowing of your mind part. Okay. What we're going to do now is because remember this is in perspective, this point will vanish exactly. Look at that face, huh? Somewhere along here is going to be that guy, and somewhere along here is going to be that guy. So let's find the bottom. <laughs> that was fantastic. I liked it. So now we're going to find this point that's going to be somewhere along this line. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to bring it to our observation point. I need a bigger ruler. Oh, you know, a good old P there. <laughs> okay, just kind of going. So, so, over there. And where do I stop? Yay. You see where it is now? Okay, so it's right here. What I want to show you is that we, dis we discover that this guy is over here and this guy is over here. We do not need to find this point because all we have to do is just drag it to that other line that we have over there. Well, okay. <laughs> now we have a box in perspective right there now what was over here is over there wow. oh. What? This is this is pretty sweet. This is sweet. This is pretty sweet. <laughs> this is sweet. And everybody followed how we actually created this box. So how do we know the height of it? Yeah. You are just stealing the world words from my mouth. I am just about to bring to the next step. I'm bringing you guys to the next level. Are we all ready? Let's go to the next level. Let's add a level to the box. For you, Tyler, I, I don't know what you have, and you know, and I don't know also what you have. But when you draw in drafting, you always draw a ground line. And that's you know, that's that's a a given. You always ground you draw a ground line. If I were to do a, a, a orthographic projection, the front of my drawing would be here, and the top view would be here. And so here, let's say, for example, I'm doing this. This would be my side view over here. And this somewhere in here is the top view, because this is the width of that. If I decide that, that and say, let's say this is just this deep over here. Hmm? Your, you, your methods are amazing. I love this. I actually understand what you're talking about. But yeah, because an orthographic is that this relates to this, this way, 
And then here, you know, well, if you do this as like a, if you use, it has to be a 45 degree triangle to do this, but if you do it this way, you get this guy over there, and then you get this guy over here, and then you get, you know, this would be the side view. That part in you. Yeah. No, the, this, uh, so this is the front, uh. this is the top, and this is the side. Uh. Uh, it's so My much. God. So much. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm continuing to explain something that's important in drafting that will follow us forever. This here deals with the width of an object and this with the height of an object. This deals with the width of an object and with the depth of an object. This deals with the height of an object and this deals with the depth of an object. It's going to be on the, on the video, so he's got that. This idea of how things relate to each other when you build a drawing, a technical drawing, is the same principle I used when I was building this perspective. So because now I have my top view, and I'm making it related to the front view. Right. The only difference is that I'm going to give perspective to this front view instead. So I need to make sure that when I draw, that all these lines could be easily related. It didn't matter if I put this over there, over there, over there, as long as it was parallel and keep going in the same direction, because it has a relationship. And that way I don't have to remeasure things over and over and over. Because that makes no sense, it's a waste of time, and we don't waste time in theater. We're busy. On a floor plan, as we've established, we, need, we know the width of an object and the depth of an object, but we do not know the height of an object. We do, not, we do know, we see that on side views and elevation. The set designer had given me a good orthographic projection. She was fantastic, so I know the height of the bar. I just, create, I just created a line over here against the back wall, the side wall. The height over here, and if I go to the vanishing point, and the height over here is going to be the same as that, it's going to be the same as all along, remember? Because this is our vanishing point, it's always going to be the same. So what I need to find out is the height of this box in that depth of the theater. So, he's my assistant. Okay. So what did we what did we decide earlier was that only true measurements could be read on the proscenium arch. Yes. So just to make it easy for us, we're going to make it this box four feet. I was just throwing. So we know that this is four feet. Four feet. From there, if I go from my vanishing point from here to four feet, anything along this line is four foot, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's against the wall, but now we need to bring it over here. So what we need to do to find the height of an object is to report from what is four foot there on the back wall and anything in that space along that line is going to be four feet. So my box over here <laughs> this is that corner over here. My box from here to or let's see if I can do it without making it too crooked. Okay, so well, I'm a little off here, don't I? <coughs> Sorry guys, I want to be more accurate for you. So over here, somewhere around here is the four foot. So if I go from here to the corner, this is the height of the box. And then if I now, I don't really need to measure much now because I have everything I need. So I go from here to here, continue the height of my box, so that's the front of the box because things that are parallel to the proscenium do not vanish. So that's the front of the box. 
And if I want to get the side of the box, anything somewhere around here, it's going to be the side of the box. I have a corner over here, so I'm going to take that little corner over here, bring it to the corner over here. So now I could clean that up so you could see that. Now that I had that corner over there, that tells me this corner over here, which then tells me, whoop, from there to there. And then I could, what? if I did it correctly, then these two will join each other at the hip. <laughs> there you go. And now we have a box. Holy. Ah. Round of applause. One thing I want you guys to be very, very clear is that the only way this system works is any objects that you do, you need to work <laughs> from the ground plan. You can't figure out what this perspective is going to look like up in the air. You need to project everything on the floor and then bring it back up. You always need to use your side walls to get the right measurement because that way you could get it from the Presidio March because of that. So all of these rules that I just said all seem to make sense to you right now. And once you have something established, it's easy to join all the dots right now. And you could really easily see it. We understand the principle, so we, I'm going to go over it with you in a moment. So what I did is I located this point by taking this point, transferring it to the back wall, showing it from my observation point, where that is, and then I dropped it down. So I located that point that way, that point that way, and that point that way. Brilliant. So what's happening over here is it... I'm going to extend my horizon line for as long as... Stop making noise. Sorry, Tara. Okay. Because okay. we are having a film here. There you go. So that's the same horizon line, but it's just longer. So now we're going to make this two points that I've discovered. And I'm going to anything along that. That is... V, P, 1. And then on this side, it probably will be inside our page, so I think we're good. Yeah, we're still good, because I made it so that we'd have one on the page and one off the page when I was designing that. If I go this over here, V, P, 2. Because now that I have my vanishing point, I could go from here. I know there's some singing happening. <laughs> from here to here, somewhere over there, and then from there to there is our other box in perspective. This, okay. This is very And I, I get that. To be continued.